Today is Maria Hyacin's birthday. She thought back to this moment last year with her husband, Rob. He said, so do you want to open your little gift bag this morning or do you want to open it later? And naturally, I said, later. We're going to have more time. And that is not what happened. One by one. Many people have asked, what was Rebecca like to have work for you? The answer is, she was just like any other young professional. Uh, her life had a clean slate. She had her whole world in front of her. Family and friends shared stories about the five journalists killed on this day in 2018 when a gunman opened fire inside the Capitol Gazette. A conversation with Gerald was an interesting experience. You did not know what reference he was going to pull from. Unlike me, he could quote Shakespeare accurately. On the first Freedom of the Press Day, people packed the Maryland Hall for a hope and remembrance ceremony that was equal parts remembering the victims, healing. Here we are together, one year after the tragedy at the Capitol, continuing to heal our hearts and our souls through music, stories, friendships, and art. And hope. The voice is telling you to press on. With some making powerful pleas for change. I come here to fight for the people who can't be here today. I've met parents who've lost a child to gun violence. I've met victims of domestic violence who still have bullets in their bodies. And it is certainly not our job as unarmed citizens to run at a shooter with a recycling bin in a trash can but it needs to be our priority to fix this broken system. And this event ended with a candlelight ceremony here outside the hall. We're live tonight in Annapolis. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News.